Russia, by occupying the territories of Ukraine, weakens itself. These conquests destroy not only the Russian army, but also the future of the entire Russian Federation. Maxim Kalashnikov, a Russian Z patriot and close associate of Igor Strelkov in the ultra-right Club of Angry Patriots, openly spoke about this in his blog. Kalashnikov, who ardently supports the war, openly told how Russia is destroying the territories of Ukraine that it considers its own. And this has been happening, according to him, since the very beginning of the aggression, since 2014. There are problems of the so-called new territories. They are turning into some kind of new Somalia. They took Volodar, but it was left in ruins. I was in the Luhansk and Donetsk in 2023. And of course, there was an impression that locusts had passed through. It is clear that the personnel there were appointed since 2014 from Moscow. And there was a feeling that they came here like locusts, sawed everything. Factories were sent for scrap metal. In Lugansk, they showed me dismantled tram rails. They were also for scrap metal. They stole like on the last day of Pompeii. There was a very strong deindustrialization. People there openly talk about it. A woman came up to me and said, Well, how did you free me? Free me from my past life, from my apartment, my salary. Everything collapsed, said the Z War correspondent. He specified that this is an expected story since the territories of primordial Russia under the Putin regime are the same new Somalia. This is especially true for Russian regions which are rapidly declining. And the situation will only worsen since the Russian Federation will have to invest huge amounts of money not in its own economy but in the black hole of the occupied territories which it itself destroyed. After the war freezes, we will have a severe developing systemic crisis and the new territories will turn from an additional locomotive of development, as I understand it, into shackles on the legs like a millstone on the neck of a drowning man. The costs of restoration there will be comparable to those that the Soviet Union incurred to eliminate the devastation after the Great Patriotic War, Kalashnikov complained. Kalashnikov speaks very boldly about the highest military political leadership of Russia, stating, the collapse of the system of state governance. He expressed confidence that with such leaders, it will not be possible to win the war. The Israeli military ordered people to evacuate areas near the city of Khan Yunus in the southern Gaza Strip on Monday after Hamas fired rockets at Tel Aviv. The military had also ordered an evacuation of the areas east of Khan Yunus earlier in the war, when it sent ground troops into the territory's second-largest city. The latest orders on Monday came after a barrage of five rockets triggered air raid sirens in central Israel, lightly wounded two women and caused minor damage. The military said the rockets were fired from the area of Khan Yunus. Hamas claimed the attack, which came as Israelis marked the anniversary of the October 7 attack out of Gaza that triggered the war. On Sunday, the military reiterated warnings for the entire population of northern Gaza to flee south. Those warnings date back to the early weeks of the war, when Israeli forces sealed off the north and launched heavy operations there. A year of war has inflicted heavy losses on Hamas, but its fighters have repeatedly regrouped in areas where Israel has carried out large operations.
قالوا خلاء بن سهيله وخلينا وكل مره بنخلف الشوارع بنقول لا اله الا الله ليش بنسيفين يا ريت تخلصوا علينا وتريحوا وسطنا يا ان هذا اسمه ذل والله انزلينا